how fashion drastically changed over the years. Okay, take a moment and just Google trendy fashions that were famous in the 90s, then compare them to what is currently trendy. There's a trace of similarity, but at the same time, it's very different. So am I right or what? The world of fashion is constantly evolving, and the way that we choose styles has always changed over the years. Fashion is a never-ending cycle of changes that never stops. Look back at how fashion has evolved throughout the years and see how it has influenced us. Whether we like it or not, there is always one thing that we can all agree on about the fashion world. It's that fashion always recycles, regardless of whether we like it or not. Fashion has evolved tremendously over 100 years, but it has also managed to keep many of the styles from the past alive and thriving. Hello and welcome to today's video, where we'll be taking a look at how fashion has drastically changed over the years. Fashion has seen a never-ending tidal wave of change and rebirth, beginning with old-school patterns in the 1950s and subsequently being revitalized into a more contemporary style in the late 2000s. Fashion is something that is deeply connected to one's sense of self for both men and women. What you wear defines who you are as a person. Dressing and styling oneself may be influenced by the media, paper, or really anything from the past. And there are so many diverse options available to you. As we look forward to the future of fashion, we might be able to anticipate a bit of a revolution in the fashion industry and fashion preferences in general. The 1950s now, don't be amazed to learn that the trendiest of fashions date as early as six, if not seven decades ago. In fact, some of the most sought-after trends today were actually inspired in the olden time trends. For sure, old is gold. The 1950s were a period of economic expansion. During the post-World War II period, societal standards were defined by uniformity and conservatism. However, with a conservative mentality in charge of the United States, there remained potential for a rebellion, which actually showed itself via the fashion industry. For both men and women, this was a period of fashion growth. Fitted blouses, shoulder pads, rounded collars, high-waisted trousers and ties were among the most popular of clothing items for women, while high-waisted pants and ties were among the most famous pieces of clothing for men. Most printed designs were hand-decorated with paint and beads, making them one-of-a-kind treasures. A huge trend at the time was to wear hats. Usually, women wanted to look like Audrey Hepburn, who was quite renowned at the time. They were inspired by her dashing short hair, which was hidden under a small hat. On the other hand, men wore hats every day. Hats made out of wool, in particular. They wore buttoned-up shirts, ties, high-waisted pants, and felt caps as they ran through the streets in early movies. This is what we see today all the time. Back then, all a person really needed was a pack of cigarettes and a cigarette case to be fashionable as hell when it came to accessories. Before discovering the dangers of smoking cigarettes for cigarette smokers, such as the development of cancer, it was the craze of an entire generation. Cigarette smoking was fashionable at the time. Everybody did it. All of this was very much evident in movies such as the Titanic. The 1960s. The 60s, also called the swingin' 60s, were characterized by protest movements. Instead of bowing to the old norms, people began to inform themselves and stand up for their own causes. The rather romantic fashion of the 50s was unceremoniously discarded. Instead, people took to the streets in A-line dresses and mini skirts. Jackie Kennedy was the fashion icon par excellence with her unconventional and rather plain look. For men, jeans and leather jackets continued to be the trend outfit par excellence. The 1960s hippie movement came after Beatle mania, Woodstock, and the Vietnam War. Tie-dye became a popular way to express disagreement. That includes headbands, t-shirts, jeans, and even shoes. Despite the versatility of tie-dye and fashion flexibility, women were still forbidden from wearing pants. Women instead wore skirts and flowing dresses instead of jeans. 1967 was declared the year of the turtleneck. 
Turtlenecks would have been considered exceedingly conservative in today's world. However, at this point, the situation was quite in reverse. Men were accustomed to wearing neckties and scarves, but turtlenecks, yes, turtlenecks, instead were part of the resistance. The 1970s. Oh, the bell bottoms, the fur jackets, the floral patterns. Oh, you must have had a once in a lifetime moment if you ever rocked any of these. The 1970s were a decade of economic and progressive transformation. Women were gaining greater economic and political independence, presidents were being impeached, and space exploration was more thrilling than ever. Clothing in the fashion industry was often influenced by music and Hollywood films. Famous artists of the time were Grateful Dead, The Rolling Stones, and Led Zeppelin, which resulted in the fashion being somewhat entangled with the hippie movement. The bell-bottom was still the most popular fashion style linked with the free love movement. In addition to the instantly identifiable fashion standard, the hair was becoming much, much larger, and the colors were getting a lot brighter, among other things. The checkered pattern slacks and tiny skirts, as well as anything with flowers printed on them, could be found in everyone's wardrobe. If it had been a wee bit cooler that day, you would have definitely seen a few individuals donning fur jackets all over the place. The 1980s the 80s is also referred to as the age of fashion sins. The 1980s were a decade when technology began to influence society. The IBM PC was introduced, the first space shuttle was launched, and music videos and synthesizers were developed. TV was the first place where music videos were released. Society swirled around it. Michael Jackson, Madonna, Prince, they all had great music videos in the 1980s. Their style definitely affected an entire society. The late 1970s clothing designs lasted throughout this decade, and by the decade's close, heavy metal fashion was super fashionable. Shoulder pads, jean jackets, members only jackets, leather trousers, and jumpsuits were all the most popular fashions. Zubaz, the most well-known character, was also the most memorable. It was assumed that if you weren't one of the millions of individuals who wore Zubaz in the 1980s, your fashion was a bit out of date. Another notable development in the 1980s was the introduction of parachute trousers, which became known as Hammer Pants due to the impact of MC Hammer's music videos during the decade, and the famous fanny pack, which is still in use today. The 90s the globe was changing in the 1990s. The Berlin Wall has fallen. The world is in the process of reorganizing itself. And travel, it's becoming more accessible than ever. Various styles are included, but most of them were inspired by music and the American influences. Unlike Kurt Cobain, whose grunge style, complete with ripped jeans and brightly colored hair, cannot be missed. Britney Spears, with her school uniform appearance, is defining a new standard for the young female generation. In the 1990s, there was simply no such thing as a uniform appearance. Individuals just dressed according to their own personal role models. The show had a lot to see. However, the gigantic outfits and slew of jewels, at the time, the mantra was just, more is more. The 2000s. In the year 2000, the advent of the internet affected almost everything during this period. Smartphones, social networking sites, cameras, and other technological gadgets facilitated communication. With programs like American Idol gaining massive popularity, fashion stars looked to singers like Kelly Clarkson for inspiration. The decade began with the futuristic appeal of Y2K, fashion based on the new century excitement. Men wore baggy cargo pants, ladies wore bell bottoms, and tracksuits from the 1980s made a solid comeback in the 2000s, as did thin jeans. In the 2000s, hip-hop inspired apparel was super trendy. You simply couldn't go anywhere without seeing Rockaware, Fat Farm, G-Unit, or Billionaire Boys Club branded tees. The 2010s. Today's style redefines the 1980s and 1990s. Alternative fashion and grunge style remained trendy. 
Hipster fashion includes blue jeans, cardigans, rounded glasses, and printed tees. This decade is all about subculture representation. Everyone on the streets wears anything from hip-hop streetwear to contemporary contour. The 2010s fashion includes everything. It shows how style has evolved throughout time. Fashion changes and develops with our culture and economy. So best keep your greatest items since they may become the next big trend in a few years. And last but certainly not least, the Roaring 2020s. The 2020s clothes are a change from the 2010s and have been heavily influenced by the 1960s and 1980s. Brands like Adidas, Nikes, Globe International are popular unisex brands in the UK and US. Like Shein and Shiku, many firms have embraced social media like TikTok to advertise their products and ideas. It's now easier than ever to purchase vintage, handmade, or resold apparel directly from individual sellers on e-commerce sites like Depop and Etsy. So what are your thoughts on the change of fashion drastically over the years? Do you believe there's anything new or has it just been reintroduced from the olden days? Leave a comment and let us know what you think. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, please, oh please, hit that subscribe button to our channel. For more awesome videos, make sure you also turn on that notification bell. We'll see you for now and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace!